Hi everyone, it's Andrew. Welcome back to the channel. Today, this is Wednesday, I'm filming this. The Dragon Special from Colour in Heaven was released. Um, if you don't want to go to the shop or risk going out, I'll leave a link to Anthem Publishing's site down below so you can go online and order it. Obviously, I get mine through subscription. So issue 63 is Dragon Special, 40 intricate designs by Dragonologist Dr. Ernest Drake. So this is a book, apparently. I'm going to say something. I don't generally do dragons. I'm not a big dragons fan. I know there are a lot of people who love them. Um, let me know if the light is better. I've bought a, a daylight bulb, so it should be a lot cleaner uh, light. It's not so yellow. It looks better already on the display, but... But one of the reasons I got the subscription was to try new things and try colouring things I wouldn't normally colour. So, for instance, I wouldn't have bought Gothic Alchemy if I saw it in the shop because it was such a dark grey scale. And I wouldn't have bought this one. So I'm, and, and to be honest, I've looked through it and the pictures are absolutely stunning. So let's get crack on and have a quick look at what we've got. <clears throat> so there's a little bit about the Ernest Drake, the... Um, the guy who wrote uh, the book called Dragonology. Um, the artwork is by Douglas Carroll. And I will admit they are beautiful. So this is Southeast Australia marsupial dragon. So you get this on some of them. You've got obviously Australia in the background. And then you get the full size picture of it and it tells you about the dragon on the left. And what sort of colours this particular dragon would be. So it says this, um, excuse me, I'm sitting on something that's crackly. Marsupial dragon uh, would be green or blue with brownish yellow underparts. And so, and then the next one is the giant lily dragon. And these are stunning pieces of art. So, you know, and this is the humming dragon. So it's obviously based on the hummingbird. And then we've got the European dragon. And this is the one I will do first and I know exactly how I'm going to do it. Um, so it tells you a bit about the dragon and it tells you what colour they are. So dragons can be red, green, black or occasionally gold. And they like to collect treasure, which is pretty much what we think of as dragons in Europe. So being in Wales, I'm going to do it in red, uh, Welsh dragon. Um, obviously I'm going to colour the, the treasure in. And then the background I'm going to do uh, half green and half white, like the Welsh flag. Even though it's not the same shape as the Welsh flag dragon. But that's how I'm going to do it, I've decided. And we've got the monkey dragon. These are absolutely beautiful, by the way. A sea serpent. I do like the way it gives you some colours that you can, I guess you don't have to colour it that way, but I think it's a good idea. So this is the Chinese lung dragon. And then we've got the Korean yong. So this is obviously Korea. And again, it tells you that this dragon is longer than its Chinese cousin, usually yellow or gold, with a whitish mane and whiskers. And then we've got the cockatrice. The Draco Stupidus. I think these are fantastic though. They're beautiful drawings. The Tasmanian Dragon. And then we've got Lindworm. It again, it tells you what sort of colours. Pale green to orange to sandy yellow. Depending on the local terrain, the fact that it gives you this whole background into the dragons and um, what colours they are, where they live, is pretty cool. Um, like I said, I'm not a big dragon person, generally. I don't like colouring them. But these ones I can see me enjoying doing, and that's the whole point of having a subscription, I think, to try something new. Tibetan dragon, iridescent red or orange, nice. This one is quite detailed. This is the incognito, and I guess that's why, because you can't... There's a lot of detail in that picture, but it is stunning. And this one, again, says Europe, Nucca. It was in a hole. Brown and dull red or greenish blue. So it's not a, a red like I it would do a Welsh dragon, so, but it's still nice. The dwarf dragon. And then this one is the Wyvern. This 
This one is the Maximum Amphitheater. I can't pronounce that, but hey, that's stunning. I mean, they are beautiful illustrations. And I think they'll be okay to colour, you know, the dodo dragon. <laughs> Indonesian dragon. This one is the frost dragon. Again, this is one I can see me doing. It's beautiful. Look at it. So, it'll be white or white tinged with blue and pink shimmering scales. So, I'd probably do it very pale blue with some dark blues. I'm going to have to hurry up because my battery's going. Uh, Sargasso dragon. The phoenix dragon. Hydra, which is like a water dragon. Look at that. Look at the stunning, isn't it? The gargoyle. So like a gargoyle, really. Gorgeous. Look at this one, the Indian Naga. That is beautiful. And then the next one is the Japanese Ryu. Ryu. But again, it's beautiful. Absolutely stunning. The Mega Dracosaurus Titanicus, a titanic dragon, then basically absolutely gorgeous. And then we got the Drac Draconosaurus Rex. <laughs> I love it. This is just classic. Uh, the Basilisk Draco Basiliscus, and there's the the Basilisk image, and it tells you again what it should be so emerald green glinting with flecks of gold now i like that so that are the four those are the 40 images in the color in heaven um dragon special which is based on the book dragonology or one of them uh, by dr ernest drake so uh, like i said i'll leave a link down below i hope you've enjoyed this flip through and i'll see you in the next one bye guys